bullets on your wrist are plain giant. The following video is broadcasting live, and thank you for being my studio audience. Thank you for hitting thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more black news, celebrity entertainment, and a splash of controversy. What up and welcome back. It's your girl Jane. The plane is Jane, and we got some syrup to get into. Come on in, have a seat on the bus. We've got a lot that we need to discuss and get into this evening, okay? Y'all know y'all got to hit thumbs up to get on my bus. But also, okay, as I'm picking y'all up, make sure y'all share this thing in your group chats, via text messages, to your homegirls, to your friends, to your homeboys, on Twitter, wherever, so I can pick your friends up, too, on this bus. Because have y'all heard about the pink sauce? Have y'all heard about the pink sauce quite yet? It is quite, it is quite a trip. Happy Friday, everyone. Get on, get on, get on. I'm going to pick y'all up on this bus. I'm going to throw y'all off the bus at the end because I have tickets to go see Jordan Peele's new movie, Nope, okay, um, a little later. So we're going to get down. We're going to get sticky. We're going to talk about some things. Come on in, come on in, come on in. So let's get right into it because y'all know things are always sticky in Hollywood and in real life. And I am excited to go through a couple of different things that I've seen going on on social media since I covered the Vaughn and Dre McRae story. And shout out to everyone who watched the Vaughn and Dre McRae story that I put together that took so much time, so much effort. And thank you for all of the love and the compliments I got for putting together that three and a half, a little over three hour live because it was definitely heavy. So I'm excited to get into some things that aren't as, um, aren't as heavy as that, right? So let's just have a little bit of fun this Friday. Although we do have a serious topic or two in this lineup, most of it is 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 pretty light. Okay, so we talk about the pink sauce. Okay, an entrepreneurial chef is being dragged for her infamous pink sauce that she's selling on TikTok. Now, some people ordered it and they have some concerns and product reviews, and the chef has given a response. Have you heard about it thus far or not? If not. Be sure to stay tuned because we're going to get into this pink sauce and how people are dragging it and the chef, okay? Also, you can take a look at the thumbnail and you can see that a father, right, and a photo of him kissing his 10-year-old daughter, it went viral, right? He's kissing his 10-year-old daughter in the mouth. I want to get into that. The father has responded, right? A lot of people have requested my reaction and thoughts on T.D. Jakes going viral um, in, in the more recent days and my take on his um, independent women segment that really got him dragged. We're going to discuss that for a while. We also need to talk about a story out of Tennessee and a man named Brandon Calloway. That is something we definitely need to discuss this evening. We need to talk about Ray J, Floyd Mayweather, and, you know, believe it or not, someone from one of the above mentioned stories legitimately asked me for $1,000. Okay. <laughs> I'm not lying. Someone from these above mentioned stories asked me four thousand dollars dead ass and i got receipts and i'm gonna show it to you okay now we're gonna get into all that and a lot more okay y'all know i'm always coming through with the black news on this channel so make sure y'all hit thumbs up have a seat on the bus shout out to everybody in the live chat jasmine made it became a member thank you so much for joining the backstage sticky squad i really do appreciate y'all now listen y'all drop some pancakes in the chat and let's get ready for takeoff Shall we? The plane is Jane. This is one of my favorite comments here. She says, I loves me some black. And she said, loves me some <laughs> black news. She says, is it just me or does anyone else get tired of seeing people that don't look like them delivering info about them day in and day out? All right, everybody, y'all know what time it is. Welcome aboard the Black News Bus. The Black News Bus, it covers Black topics inside of the celebrity world, but it also covers real news involving everyday people like you and me and news that affect everyday people like you and me. And you know why? You know I've always got nuggets of Black excellence and Black history in all of my Black News Bus shows. So real quick, grab onto your mental health. Get up out of here if you haven't tackled your own invisible problems, okay? Y'all know mental health is very important over here. Shout out to my new subscribers. We, we're so close to 10K, I can smell it. We're so close to 10,000 subscribers, I can smell it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the backup channel that's linked down below in the description box. It's the third link. You'll see it. It'll be in blue. It'll say at TPJ Network. That's the name of the backup channel. Make sure y'all subscribe there. And of course, before I get into breaking down today's topics of viral events, make sure you subscribe, okay, if you haven't already, and thumbs up or down. Either way, I appreciate it. 
But make sure you think critically and independently, regardless of what you hear from me or anybody else. Now, let's get into it. This pink sauce, have you heard about it? Yes or no? Drop a one in the chat. If you have heard about the pink sauce and all of its controversy, drop a two. If you have no clue what this pink sauce fuss is all about, let, let me know in the chat. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give y'all a little bit of time. In the meantime, say hello to my little friend. Leo, get down. Get down. It's not a thank you because it's not a question. Okay, so I see a lot of twos. I see a couple of ones in the chat. My co-host Leo is not in the room with me today because I just couldn't trust him to behave. He's been a little antsy lately and I don't, I don't got time for him to be in here making noise and disrupting the flow. But he, he's here, okay? Fret not. Leo is still in the building. Okay, I see a lot of twos. I see a lot of twos. A couple of people don't know. A couple of people don't know. There are some people who already know and they already got the emoji going on. Hey, bossy, what's going on? Hey, DJ Golden. Okay, so there are a lot of twos. We we might as well talk about it. Amy knows what it is. The pink sauce. Yeah, it's 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 a real thing. Okay, <laughs> it is a real thing. Let's go ahead and talk about it. What has happened with this pink sauce is it is a, it's a dipping sauce, right? It's made by this black one. woman. She is an entrepreneur. Okay, let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see some of her marketing before we really get into it, okay? Now, the woman, and we're going to go through some, some footage in a minute. The woman, Chef Pie, right? She created this dipping sauce, right? It says the infamous dipping sauce that everyone's raving about, all right? On the packaging, it says our mission is to excite your taste buds with flavor and thrill you with creativity, okay? Someone said it looked like milk or magnesia, child. So look, a lot of people ordered this stuff and it really blew up on TikTok. A lot of TikTok users ended up buying it and trying to support a black woman, an entrepreneur, something new on the market. And people got it and they were they were highly disappointed. OK, so it's been trending for a couple of days now. A lot of people have been dragging it. It's showing up exploded and expired. There is said to be milk in this stuff as well. Some of the people are saying it tastes like watered down ranch, kind of, sort of. No, not really. Um also on the nutrition facts, some of the ingredients were even spelled wrong. When a lot of people were asking the, the CEO, like, hey, what's it taste like? What's this flavor um, about? What, 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 what's, what's the flavor? She, she said, I can't describe it. In other words, you're just going to have to order it in order to find out. Like that, that's not good marketing for a business or a brand for them to just be asking you about like a, a, a roundabout, just a taste or flavor. Is it hot? Is it spicy? Is it zesty? Is it sweet? Is it zingy? Like, What's going on? Um, and then also everyone's just trying to understand if it is FDA approved or not. My question to y'all is, would you try the pink sauce? Now we're going to get into the controversy, why people are so upset about it. We're going to get into the response from the CEO that created this black woman is an entrepreneur. No one likes, right? No one, no one wants to tear down a black entrepreneur, but you know, when people spend their money and they're willing to risk their health, literally, to try your product and ingest this, um, I, I think people are going to have something to say. There are a couple of businesses where people are going to give you the business if they're not satisfied. And that's when you're messing with their money and when you're messing with their food. There are other ones, too, but th those are the top two. And I've worked in both the food service industry and the banking industry. And when you get one of them two things wrong, people have a problem and, and they take it more close to heart. And, and you... Got allergies and all other types of things. The nutrition label ain't right. You know, people had a lot to say. So there are quite a few jokes. There's quite a bit of backlash. There's quite a bit of constructive criticism all wrapped up around this sauce. Let's get into this video and some footage of what other people have had to say in their synopsis of the um, the pink sauce debacle, shall we? So she doesn't... We need to talk about pink sauce and why a lot of people are concerned for the people that have bought this sauce from the lady that makes it on TikTok. Because the hue of the sauce keeps changing. Every photo, every video, the sauce color looks different. And also, she doesn't describe what it actually tastes like. I don't know if it is to promote it, get people to buy it, just to see what it tastes like. But she will not describe the taste. She says it's because she cannot describe the taste. I've been hearing it kind of tastes like ranch. Not exactly ranch, but basically ranch. Now 
now that people have purchased it and received it, they're noticing that there's a lot of stuff that's really sketchy with the bottle. The nutrition facts seem to be off. It says there's 444 servings. Some of the ingredients are spelled wrong. The website also just seems so poorly put together. Like, what is this? Why does it say this? It's literally like $20 for a bottle. And a lot of people are now worried that this creator is going to be facing lawsuits. The sauce was also arriving in the mail in these bags. They were not like boxed up with bubble wrap. And we're talking about liquid sauce here. So obviously some people were receiving them literally exploded. It's honestly so sad. I'm really rooting for small businesses. But when it comes to food, you need to be careful with what you're buying and the safety and everything. Okay. So there, there, there's a lot of stuff that has been wrong um, with the sauce. For number one, right, on the label, let me see if we can see it on this label or if she had already updated it on her website by the time I had got to the clip, okay? Vinegar was spelled wrong. You know, vinegar is a pretty fairly easy word to spell, right? I think any second grader can spell vinegar. Um, that was spelled wrong. It was missing in the E in it right you've got to wonder is, is this really fda approved her attitude when she responded to the backlash it was thank you know what i mean like that's that's the nicest way that i can put it nothing less right twenty dollars for a bottle of inconsistent pepto-bismol sometimes it's a really um a, a really vivid bright pink sometimes it's a, a pastel pink um, let's see if we can see vinegar on here. I have seen it in other clips and people's takes on it online. This seems a bit too blurry, but yeah, I've seen plenty of clips up close and personal where she's actually spelt vinegar wrong. Where do y'all land with this? Where do you land? I, I, I just, I want to know what you think. I, I, I want to know what you think. Um, also let's go ahead and get into, <laughs> let's get into the CEO's response. I was able to uh, check out a live where the CEO, Chef Pai, she did an Instagram live video today and I was able to capture a couple of comments, baby. Some people are on her side. Some people are making excuses for her. And um, some people are just flat out not having it because apparently there's this issue with mayo not being on the label of her packaging. But people are finding that there is mayo actually in this product. And a lot of people are highly allergic to that. A lot of people are highly allergic to that. So let's get into her um, her response to the backlash, okay? In the room. So, all right, y'all. Time to acknowledge the elephant in the room. So I want to start off by saying, number one, my apologies. My apologies. My apologies. I'm only human. I'm not perfect. Another thing, we have a team. Things happen. The grams got mixed up with the serving size. There's 444 grams of pink sauce inside of each container. It's about 30 servings per container. It was a mistake. We fixed the issue. You guys will not be receiving pink sauce bottles with the bad label. We are replacing all of the labels. We also are sending you guys a gift and a thank you note. Okay, so she acknowledges that the label was bad, misspellings, and there were also um, incorrect servings listed on the label. She's acknowledging that, but now she's saying she's going to send a note and a free gift and no one will be getting the bad labels. But let's continue. There's also, you know, it's been said that there's milk in this product. And if there's milk in this product, she's just sending it in regular, you know, dollar store packaging wraps. Like there are no preservatives in this product. So how are people really being able to guarantee that their health is intact and okay? When you're sending something like milk and there are like no preservatives in this product. But let's continue. And this is a small business, y'all. This is a small business that is just moving really, really fast. We are working to try to get the price mark down on the pink sauce. I want to also say I appreciate y'all for supporting me, for spending $20 per sauce to help us to produce it because the ingredients are not cheap. Um, 
Yes, we are following FDA standard. However, we are currently in lab testing. We are in lab testing um, currently. So once we go through lab testing, we will be able to pitch to stores to put the pink socks in stores. And we're so excited about that. Um, but yeah, we're growing every day. I'm listening to y'all. I see y'all. Um, I do. I am a hard, I'm a passionate person, but yeah, I'm listening to y'all. I hear y'all and we're growing every single day. Sweetheart, you about to kill people with these ingredients and not being forthcoming, cutting corners, spelling things wrong. And you say, yeah, I'm a hard and I'm a passionate person, baby. All right. Uh, oh, but wait, there's more. There's more. Following FD yes, we are following FDA standard. However, we are currently in lab testing. We are in lab testing. So, okay, this, this, this is an excerpt, right? Y'all in lab testing. You say you're following FDA standard. What's the lab testing? Are you using all of the paying customers, the people paying $20 a bottle for your Pepto-Bismol mayonnaise? Them the people you testing it out on? Cause like, cause like, um, you testing in the lab or on people? Cause like, sometimes it's pink paint. Sometimes it's light paint. It's inconsistent, baby. Even a consistency sometimes looks creamy. Sometimes it looks watery. You putting it on Big Macs, tacos, KFCs, anything you can think of, salads, you know, um, Yeah, mm -hmm. you ain't gonna be satisfied till somebody's stomach really start bubbling and they really draft up some paperwork and send it to you, baby. I don't think you're gonna be. It was gone. Let me just go in the bush and weep. Let me just go in the bush and weep. I just have to go in the bush and weep. Really, I, I don't understand. I swear to God, I don't understand. Somebody said it's pink. <laughs> Ebony M said it's it's paint lotion moisturizer from back in the day. I, I that's what that, 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 that's what it looked like. Now here, look, somebody took it a step further and looking. I, I I'm not even knocking them, right? First, let me get into just so you can see the way social media. And if you haven't already taken a moment to hit thumbs up, thank you so much. It's free to donate to the channel. You can feel free to send a cash app donation or a super chat. It's appreciated. It's not required. I just don't want y'all to forget, right? But if you ain't got a dollar to to donate to a sister or the channel, rather, um, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, right? Um, but let's take a look at what a couple of people are saying online, okay? All right. So here are a couple of comments. You can see. I went to her page. The person said, why are you selling sauce containing milk to people? You should be sued. Someone said, reading up on this whole thing, you need to be sued and locked the hell up. Mm -hmm. Also, here are a couple of comments I was able to grab off of the Instagram live video that she had earlier today. Um, you can see that there are quite a few people who are on her side, either her friends or her day ones. Um, God has your back. I love it. Um, there's a ton of stuff people buy from the stores that isn't FDA approved. Um, someone says she's lying. Someone says y'all eat stuff from the internet that's not FDA approved. She's making it from her home. They said, I know y'all asking questions about why it's not approved by the FDA, but the FDA don't mean shit. You know, so there are a mixture of different reactions to this pink sauce situation. But there was somebody who legitimately went the extra mile to reverse engineer, right, what was actually in it. And they actually gave some insight as to, like, what's, 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 what's in the product? What's in the product? Her dedication, listen, I ain't mad at it. You need more scientists and people who know how to read nutrition facts and recreate these things to really test, right? People outside of just maybe the factory to really let you know, like, if this stuff is genuine inside of the packaging. So um, here she is. She says, I saw mystery pink sauce was trending. It caught my attention. I'm not paying $20 for a mystery sauce, but I'm going to attempt to recreate it at home. Let's try it two ways. 
Um, the way it says marketing and the second is using their ingredients list. They said, I have all the ingredients, including citric acid. I'm attempting four different types of chill, chili, chili, chili flakes, chili powder, chili paste, and chili oil. Also, I'm going to try both raw and roasted garlic. I have 14 combinations ready to blend. I will share which ones get the closest to her pink hues. They say, okay, first up, it's clearly not the correct way as it's only promoting main ingredients, but we have promoted the pink sauce way. It tastes like a fruity vinaigrette, similar to something for a summer salad. Not bad, but it definitely could taste better. I tried eight different combinations. Okay. So you can see people, people are putting it on the salads. I won't lie. It looks pretty for a salad, um, you know, because it just adds that bit of color, but okay. Now to do the listed ingredients, the way it's listed on the label, given it says milk and not milk powder, powdered buttermilk, cream with modified cornstarch, et cetera, like most packaged dressings are, I'm making it this way, but I have doubts because without edits, it should ship refrigerated, right? Some huge errors right off the bat with recreating the pink sauce. There's no way to use these ingredients the way they're listed on the label and get the pink color that she has with only 2% milk. Also, it calls for more garlic than dragon fruit, and that's just gross. Okay, so you can see this pink hue, right? This lady was invested, but listen, I ain't mad at it. Current situation in recreating the pink sauce. Thoughts. More garlic than dragon fruit is just gross. All of the liquids, the oil, vinegar, the lemon juice, the milk make it super thin. You cannot recreate her pink hue using only 2% milk. Let's see what some edits can accomplish. Which is really strange. Accurate, um, but this is it for comparison. This is the one I just made. Um, I tried it in a couple different variations. However, some of the ingredients are really strange. Um, you use more garlic than you do dragon fruit. And when you do everything in order, there's also more than 2% salt, which is really strange. But when you do all these ingredients in different forms, this is the consistency that it comes out of. And it's very watery. So it's nothing like her sauce. And the color is nothing like the pink that she promotes. So I'm going to keep going and try to figure out how I can best. All right, let's see what's next. You guys, I'm so mad at myself. I started going through all of her videos and I found this. That's not milk on the right, it's mayo. That definitely confirms why I couldn't recreate the pink sauce for color or texture. Off to follow the amounts she shows here. The answer to pink sauce as it appears after multiple attempts is by adding mayo instead of milk and also completely disregarding the mayo to oil ratio per her TikTok. Still not perfect, but we're almost there. Someone in the chat has said that milk has mayo in it. Um, and I find that to be interesting too. Okay, so here it is. She says, it happened. I made the pink sauce. The answer is two parts oil to one part mayo, three parts whole garlic, four parts dragon fruit that had excess moisture removed, splash everything else. And I used a quarter teaspoon of citric acid. Tastes like ranch with the slightest vinaigrette note. Okay. So uh, listen. She said, I think she's grabbing the ingredient list from some mayo brand and listing these ingredients as hers because the lemon, the distilled vinegar, the slight spices, etc., only makes sense if that's where they come from. Okay. So she says, here are the results. It's not bad, but it's not good. It's kind of like a summer um, aloe sauce, aoli sauce that's heavy on garlic and chili. Dragon fruit is more for the color than truly adding much depth. I prefer, I prefer fry sauce, but to each their own. So look, we have been, we have been down this rabbit hole of the pink sauce. And look, what are your thoughts? Melanie Queen, thank you so much for sending a $5 super chat. Melanie Queen says, should have lab tested it in the first place. It's a product you put in your body. This woman is full of it, trying to make a quick buck. Get them bubble guts, okay? <laughs> okay. It's, it's, it's definitely a bit much. Hey, Bossy Unbothered, thank you so much for joining the channel membership. I appreciate you for becoming a backstage sticky. I think what I'm going to do is when I get back from the movies this evening from seeing Jordan Peele's Nope, I'm going to do members only and talk about the movie. There will be spoilers and I'm going to let y'all know that too, okay? Let's talk about some potential consequences for this sauce and what Chef Pie, okay, creator of this pink sauce could, could be facing. Criminal fines for food and drug cosmetic act violations. 
okay? Up to $100,000 for a misdemeanor by an individual that does not result in full death. Up to $200,000 misdemeanor by a corporation that does not result in death and up to a quarter million dollars for a misdemeanor by an individual that results in death or a felony. So, you know what? Hopefully this woman gets it right. Nobody wants to, you know, drag her or 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 put her down per se. However, this 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 stuff is pretty dangerous what she is putting out. Now, here are some people that have some things to say. I feel like there's no need to drag her, but it's just like, listen, girl, getting smart with people. Oh, no. Getting smart with people are getting sassy. I see this lady deleted this damn tweet. She was taking up Matter of fact, I'm going to show it to you because I got a screenshot of the preview of the tweet, as a matter of fact. Uh-huh. So she deleted it. Ah, You want to delete it? Ah. Okay. So here's someone who was making excuses where it's like, again, when I tell you people are sensitive about their money being done wrong and their food being done wrong, it's, it's a big deal. So you had some people trying to pull a race card, right? Oh, my goodness. Black women are expected to be perfect. No, we're not expecting her to be perfect. But when you mess up somebody's food, which has something to do with their digestive system, right? Not being forthcoming with your nutrition facts and your labels, you know, um, that's stuff that could really affect people. Some people are highly allergic. Some people can die from some of the things you're leaving off or not being honest about when it comes to your nutrition label. So this woman here says, and she deleted the tweet because I had the link right here, right? Black women entrepreneurs are expected to be perfect. There's no room for trial and error, and it's disheartening. You shouldn't be selling a product if you claim you're going through FDA testing. That should have been done already. Playing with people's lives is not a thing, right? I remember when I used to work somewhere, the difference between regular and decaf coffee, right? Um, it can be a big deal. Some, some people are like, listen, I'm ordering decaf coffee. Please make sure it's decaf coffee. Because if it's not decaf coffee, it's going to kill me. And it, it sounds, you know, it, it sounds small or minuscule, but it's really not. When you're talking about everybody's body is different. Everybody's allergies are set up different. I think people have a right to be in their feelings and to be giving her a heap of constructive criticism. And I don't think the way that this young lady is responding to it, I don't think that it's conducive to the betterment of her business. But hey, um, there's no room for trial and error. It's disturbing. We saw this with the Honeypot Company. We saw it with um, Kushni. We are watching it now with the pink sauce. People try to break us down faster than they lift us up. And again, you know, I'm not trying to break her down. I'm not saying she should shut her business down. I'm saying that she needs more professionalism. I mean, hell, the one video that I saw, she's literally making it in her bedroom. Her bedroom, you know? Um, so it's kind of like, no wonder we have all of these results that are all over the place. No wonder, just, just kind of a little bit. We're talking about food consumption, right? Now, it'd be different if you had a, a test group of people and you got them tested it out for flavor and they're signing waivers like, hey, you know, that, that that's how food trial and error and testing goes. People know what they're signing up for. They're signing waivers, right? You go based off allergies and what's really in it, um, so on and so forth. And, you know, for the people on her page talking about, oh, y'all take things from the FDA that ain't, you know, that ain't FDA approved all the time. Is that really how y'all defending this? Y'all eat stuff that the FDA say ain't okay anyway. Like, no, let's not lower the bar because that, that's a low bar. And yes, yeah, some people do eat stuff that's not FDA approved. That doesn't mean that this black woman with, with all of the potential and all of the, 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 the black girl magic, the black woman, black man magic, right? That doesn't mean that her, her bar should be lowered because some people don't mind piss poor. Well, and some people will eat stuff that's not FDA approved and some people will still get sick. It doesn't make it okay. Like, I, I just cannot stand when people try to normalize lacklusterness, mediocrity, and laziness when it comes to the, what people are consuming in their bodies. Let's stop. Let's stop. <laughs> Seriously. It's, it's, it's not it. She was make she had a whole a blender in her bedroom and she's making it, you know. And again, we, we get into this picture. Let's go ahead and get ready to uh, pull off from this story and pull up to a different neighborhood. But, you know, even just looking at these pictures that we've got here, light pink on the left, medium pink in the middle, completely dark pink on the right. Okay. <laughs> so it, it's, it's just not. <laughs> it says a different kind of meeting in her bedroom. Okay. There's a meeting in, my, okay, period. 
But what are y'all thoughts about this? Whether you're chasing the bus or whether you are on the bus catching a live replay, would you try the pink sauce? Would you try it for a YouTube video just to kind of be honest about it? Again, we've seen the pictures and the images of the bottle literally showing up to the woman's home, exploded. We've seen how she sent it. It's not even in bubble wrap. Um, it's really hot out. This is the summer. Now, maybe maybe in the wintertime you can get away with shipping things like that without um, having to consider refrigerating it or anything else like that. But um, it's, it's summertime, baby. That's not the time to be sending nothing with, you know, mayo and or milk and to not be worried about what's, what's really going on in there. Okay. Not at all. Here's the next situation. And again, if you haven't already taken a moment to hit the subscribe button, I would really appreciate if you do so. Okay. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Hey, thanks for letting me keep you connected and in the know with what's happening in the black world. Don't forget to smash on that like button for support and for more black news. All right, let's go ahead and get into the next story that we have going on right here. So you've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail, prepare yourself, trigger warning, okay? Right, this is a, I would call it a mild trigger warning, but some people may be really uh, legitimately grossed out by this, Okay. And what we're talking about is these, th this man and, and the way he kisses his 10-year-old daughter, okay? Um, honestly, I, I feel like it's not right. I feel like there some, are some improvements to be made with this. But I want to know from you, right? Let's just, let me know how you feel about this. This is the father and his 10-year-old daughter. A lot of people um, assumed or really just wanted to think that this was Photoshopped initially uh, when I posted this on Twitter. What are your thoughts, right? Because I had only shared the picture on the left at first, and then I found the picture on the right, and then I found his entire social media profile. Is this appropriate for um, a man to be um, kissing his daughter on the lips like this and holding her in this way? Drop a one in the chat if you feel like this is appropriate, right? And there's nothing wrong with it. Drop a two in the chat if you feel like, no, he, he, there, there, there needs to be some adjustments, some decorum. It's a little bit out of line. A one, if you feel like it's fine, it's just a dad loving on his daughter. A two, if you feel like, mm, be affectionate with your daughter, but this is a bit much. I want to know how y'all feel about it. I want to know, I want to know, I want to know. Ooh, lots of twos. Let's see, do I see any ones in the chat? No one's in the chat. Okay. 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 All right. Lots of twos. Okay. Yeah, it looks it, it, it looks a bit romanticized to me. It, it it does look a bit romanticized. And here's the thing: social media users are completely and utterly outraged. The dad is irritated, but but I can say he's irritated, but he's getting his rocks off on the outrage. I don't know how many times I got to tell you social media, right? When it comes to outrage, outrage is social currency, right? Social currency is, is, is kind of a word that you can use interchangeably with clout. Um, outrage is social currency. Shout out to Julesy for that. Outrage is social currency. Pe th this is why Lil Nas X is able to troll people and, and disgust people and sit back and laugh and enjoy it because not only is it satisfying for him, it also helps to um, elevate his level, his, his visibility, um, and it keeps him trending, period, point blank. The dad is certainly cursing everyone, okay? He is cursing everyone out who has an opposing opinion. And let me tell you something. The comments are not on his side. The comments are not on his side. Let me tell you something. This is a beautiful little girl, okay? Beautiful little girl. Um, she is, she's, she's, she's built, right? She, she's developing, should I say. Um, she's developing. And, and I just feel like, where's the mother? Where's the mother? Okay. Um, you know, the, it's the hand on the back of the head for me. The hand on the back of the head is giving romanticized teas. It's giving romanticized teas, in my opinion. Um, I had I had some people right on my Twitter who wanted to compare Kobe Bryant pictures to this. They 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 pulled up these pictures of of um of Kobe Bryant and they wanted to say, well, what what's the difference here? What's the problem? And as a matter of fact, I'll pull it up and 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 I'll ask y'all. I'll I'll ask you what you think. I'll ask you what you think. I, I definitely don't feel like it's appropriate. 
um, as she begins to develop, right? His, you know, and people are, oh, well, he shouldn't pick his daughter up. I'm not saying he shouldn't pick his daughter up, but his hand is right there on her bum bum. You know, she's, she's being, you know, beginning to become curvy already. What happened to picking your daughter up and giving her a, a, a piggyback ride on the back? Why does he have to pick her up that way? You got the foot pop in the background. Her hand is caressing the back of his head. It would be okay to just be like, hey, move your hand. You know, that, that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. Um, everybody can do what they want with their children. You know, but when you post these things online, and again, we, we're going to visit his social media profile in a second. You'll see what his attitude is about this, right? So this woman says, what's the difference, right? between Kobe Bryant doing this and the father doing that, okay? She says, what's the difference? And I said, the difference is this, because when I first posted it, I didn't I didn't have this picture in there. It was just the one to the left with the hand of, of them kissing, right? And then I also pulled up some of his disparaging remarks on Facebook, which we'll get into in a second. Um, so she says, he picked her up and told... Um, other to start kissing their own children, even though he called them ugly. So at what age should a father not pick up his child? I'm not trying to tussle. I'm just really wondering. I'm like, it's the decorum he lacks. And the daughter isn't being taught decorum either. That hand placement is sus, you know? He's content because he's thriving off of the outrage. He's determined not to understand and improve. His hand is on her bottom and her hand on the back of his head is not okay. It definitely seems more romanticized. Um, in my opinion, right? Um, she also went on to say, let me see. There was more here. Okay, so she says, so Kobe's hands like this are okay. And from the looks of it, one hand is overlapping the other. So to y'all, it may not look like he's grabbing her, but he's really just trying to hold her up. She's got a little weight on her. And I get that. I get that. But again, what happened to picking her up on the back? Um, so again, you know, she just kept trying to insert Kobe Bryant and, and doing this. And I'm like, listen, two hands on the side of the face versus a hand on the back of the head. They're in two different, two, two, two different lanes, in my opinion. <laughs> okay. Grabbing the two sides of the face versus grabbing the back of the head, which is rooted in romance. In my opinion, if you kissing somebody and y'all grabbing the back of the heads and everything, that's, that's romantic tease. You know what I'm saying? Like what parent is kissing there? Or what child is kissing their parents on the lips, right? Um, and and really holding the back of the head, right? Like, like we're not talking about like an infant who has no control over the hand movements. Like, let's be realistic and practical here, right? And again, the father's hand placement, it's just not okay. His daughter's developing. And instead of taking feedback, he's refusing to adjust. The girl said, I really don't see the difference at all. And hey, to each one, to each their own, okay? To each their own. I personally don't think it's okay. I, I don't think it's okay. And the people have the right to do whatever they want to do with their children. Uh, but when you share things online and you make it public, people are going to have a public reaction to it. All right. People are going to have a public reaction to it. So, <laughs> um, so here we go. He's got two different Facebook pages, right? So here's his reaction. He says, the whole country is Essing on my D, right? That's what he says. Um, he's literally going at it. Y'all hoes just wanted to free R. Kelly, he said. <laughs> he said, y'all need to start kissing them weird looking MS and kids. Y'all got a little bit more because they already effed up. He says, y'all hoes can't even leave y'all kids with their daddy. He already effing 17 year olds anyway, but y'all worried about me. He says, now y'all free codes are social workers now. Do y'all kids even know their daddy? My baby's an A and B student. Y'all hoes don't even teach y'all kids to read, but y'all worried about me and my kid? Wipe that dick off y'all mouths. Here he go. Just because y'all little freak ass daughters and little cousins, et cetera, et cetera, be on here twerking ass. Cussing out they elders being grown on TikTok don't mean mine's is that grown. Half y'all hoes ain't got his kids out here, but y'all looking like pure S-H-I-T. He also, now mind you, this is all in one day. This is the way, this is the day he went viral. So you can tell he's bothered. I mean, he posted on Facebook literally about 
um, you know, 14, 15 different times in one day, the day he went viral because he was very triggered by it. And somebody commented, they said, you know, you ain't got no job when you posting on Facebook 14, 15 times a day. Uh, and, and yeah, it's true. Cause you know, you bothered. Um, if you're wondering, yes, um, this is the guy that asked me for a thousand dollars. Oh yes, he did. I'm gonna show you the receipt in a second. I'm going to show you the receipt. Because my thing is, if he's doing it at this age, he doesn't want to stop. He Because there are some legitimate pieces of criticism out here, right? And if he doesn't want to stop and he's getting his rocks off by doing it, he's going to continue. His daughter's already a big, beautiful 10 and not big like she's fat. She's not fat, but she is, um, She's she's got some weight on her. If he's not going to stop doing it now, he's never going to stop. He's going to be doing this up until maybe she's 18 or or, or however long. I, you know, y'all hoes might as well call CPS because I'm going to kiss my big baby on the lips until I die, BT. And it's not really about kissing on the lips, right? Like, it's not really about that because, you know, when you watch a quick peck and the peck separates, like some people, when they kiss their parents, it's a quick peck, boom. But, you know, between them lifting her up and and the bum bum and the hand on the back of the neck. It's it's given romantic. It's given I couldn't wait till all day did. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's a touchy subject. You're talking about people's kids, but again, this is viral at this point. And you know, it, he wants to smoke, but he's also very bothered. If y'all don't want me disrespecting y'all, don't be so weird. If you don't know me, you don't know how I'm coming about mine. Don't put y'all issues on me because all my baby see is her daddy and a nigga she know. Uh, gonna protect her so y'all fake weird lame mfs can s my d the slow way i ain't never had no bad report with no kids so eat a hot bowl of damn he from chicago he just y'all hoes gotta find something safe to do seriously um so yeah yeah how are y'all feeling about it How do y'all feel about it? Right. It, you know, some people are saying exactly a peck on the lips. Um, you know, a peck on the lips is is one thing, but, you know, they're posing for kissing pictures at that. So it's like, how many takes did it take for y'all to get it right? Like, who knows? Like, you you literally want to show this off to um, the world. Like, you want the world to see it. I don't know. Did anybody see that Netflix movie, um, The Girl in the Picture? Did anybody see that? I, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say, and I'm going to just leave it there. That was definitely a crazy Netflix movie, okay? So, again, of course, I reached out to him, right? I'm like, ooh, you going viral. Do you you kind of want to give your side of things? Do you want to um, explain to people exactly where you coming from with this? Here he go. Ask me $4,000, baby. This worldwide, I need my G. I need a G. My baby face out here, this is not a playing matter. A thousand dollars, boy! Don't nobody know who the hell you is. <laughs> don't nobody know who you is, and nobody's gonna care next week either. You're just gonna be that creep from the photos last week. That's it. I wouldn't even pay a thousand dollars to have Kodak Black up on this joint, or even Fat Joe. Is you crazy? Don't nobody know you. I said, listen, I've been in this game for a long time. There is nobody that's gonna pay you a thousand dollars. I said, people are gonna be dragging you for free on YouTube by tomorrow. The, the, the narrative is going to get out of control and the narrative is going to worsen. You got a chance to set it right, but nobody's paying you a thousand dollars. You think I give an F about that? I said, well, clearly you do. You, you said that, that this is not a game. It's my baby faith. Da, 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 da. You've been uh, arguing with people all day. You're clearly bothered, but I mean, hey, suit yourself. A thousand dollars. Now, now you can ask my D the slow way. How about that? <laughs> What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Sir, keep waiting for it. A thousand dollars to hear about how you are doubling down, right? Because all if you, you've been calling people hoes and everything all on social media, that means if and when I interview you, all you're gonna be doing to all the hoes that think is that, that's that's the interview for really you think I'm about to give up. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> ah! Okay. Um, keep waiting for a boo. Cause um <laughs> anyway. Yeah, his mind. He he really is. I'm not I'm not even lying. He's um he's out of his mind. He's out of his mind. Nonetheless, listen, Stickies, what are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts on that story? Okay. Comment down below. Um, let me know in the chat. Hit the thumbs up. And where does that story land for you? Let's move on to the next story, child. Because I got to, I, I I didn't realize. I was going to be, I didn't realize these stories was going to take this long. I got to get ready to get up out of here to see Jordan Peele's um, Nope movie. Okay. Let's talk about Floyd Mayweather. The, 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 the people are coming at Floyd Mayweather something serious. Floyd Mayweather got caught in some drama. Okay. Some drama. Like what is really going on? I'm so sick of Peter. I really, really, really am sick of Peter. Okay. White House press secretary says it doesn't matter how Biden got COVID. You know what? That lady just be in there blinking and cooning, child. I cannot, cannot with her. Let's get into what Peter got going on. Have y'all heard about this story? Okay. Peter's coming for Floyd Mayweather based off a of dag on uh, a, a car seat. We know Floyd Mayweather is just filthy rich. Filthy rich. And Peter ain't ever got nothing better to do but to come after people that ain't worried about them. Peter is upset by this expensive car seat. Y'all know Peter is an animal rights organization. They decided to dive into Floyd Mayweather's criminal history to shame him about a car seat. His criminal history has nothing to do with this car seat. And see, my whole thing about it is, why do y'all go after these consumers and these celebrities? And I know why, because you want some social currency. You want some clout. Is it really the consumer's fault? Why not go after the manufacturer? And the creator of these products, this came from a whole factory, a whole business, a whole brand, a whole organization with LLC and or trademark paperwork. But instead, you'd rather come at the celebrities. Why not put these companies on blast? Instead, let's go after select consumers. See, because they're opportunists. They don't go after regular everyday people who buy these things or stand outside of the stores or, or try to keep track of the orders on the website. No, it's less, let's go after the high profile people because the high profile people are the only ones that matter. Look, I'm not even a Floyd Mayweather like fanatic, right? Like I'm not a, I, I would, I'm not a Floyd hater, but I'm definitely not like, I don't drop anything that I'm doing when I hear news about Floyd Mayweather. But this is ludicrous. This is ludicrous. I remember when Peter pulled up on Kelly Rowland, so out of pocket. So, so here, here go Peter in their statement. Did Floyd Mayweather, who has a history of assault and battery of defenseless victims, really seek to update it by supporting an industry that throttles animals to death in addition to poisoning and electrocuting them? This man is hardly a role model for compassion and understanding, but to try to make cruelty look attractive to a child could earn him a medal for corrupting the natural kindness of a minor? <laughs> Peter also came for Floyd in 2012 for wearing mink, mink coats and making comments comparing his training to dog fighting. Okay. Um, look, Peter. Peter, look. Peter also says Peter is calling on Mayweather to take a jab at teaching kindness, not cruelty, by replacing this monstrosity with faux fur as most designers, department stores, and consumers have, and Peter would be happy to provide it. You know, if only y'all cared about people that way. I'm not saying the animals aren't important. Shout out to my co-host, Leo. But get a life. Get a life. Y'all literally heckle celebrities. Y'all, at this point, y'all are worse than TMZ. Seriously. Why the hell are you worried about his car seat for? Obsessed much? Mm. I, I, uh, <laughs> Excuse me, I'm fucking out of here right now. Somebody in 
the comments said, why Peter always got to be so dramatic? Because they are. They absolutely are. Shout out to all 185 of us here. Thank you so much for hitting the thumbs up button. Listen, this, th this stuff is crazy. Okay? It's crazy. Oh, Lord. Here's this story right here, child. I'm so sick of Ray J and Princess. Keep, 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 keep this mess offline. Okay? Keep this mess offline. We're not interested. Ray J, we, you know what, Ray J? Actually, I was, I was talking about you the other day. Ray J. Um, what were we talking oh, We were talking about that tattoo of your sister got that looks a hot ass mess. Uh, I mean, just a whole hot mess. A whole hot mess. So apparently princess is really done, right? The word together shit really tickles me. It sends me to the king, truly. Um, listen, they go through this every other week and we're just tired. We're tired. We're getting a divorce. We're not getting a divorce. We're getting a divorce. We're rekindling. We're not getting a divorce. At this point, just keep it. What's the story, right? It's no secret that they are always hot and cold, but it appears that Princess is ready to finalize the divorce, okay? Now, Radar Online is the, um, the company that actually went ahead and secured the documents. 37-year-old um, reality star asked the court to set a trial date to fight over divorce, visitation, child custody, child support, spousal support, division of property, and attorney fees, okay? So this, girl, we tired. You know, Ray J is so petty. We know Ray J is a character. He, he is very charming. I've got to give him that, but he's also toxic. Um, he's always going to make you laugh, always. He's, he's, he's a businessman. Um, them vocals is gone. Did you know that him, Sammy, Bobby Valentino, and Pleasure P are trying to make, they, they formulated a group and they're calling themselves RSVP. Ray J, Sammy, S, Valentino, Bobby V, P, Pleasure P, RSVP. We'll see if anything's going to come from that. But you know how petty Ray J is. Ray J went ahead and he trademarked Princess Love's name. She already had that name before they got together. They get together. He went ahead and he trademarked her name so that anything she tries to do with her name moving forward, he's trying to get a little cut of it. That's conniving. That's conniving. So my, <laughs> the princess said that versus battle was the last straw. The last straw. <laughs> She's been trying to leave him for a while, child. And and just, with, girl, is he going to follow through with it? Is he not going to follow through with it? Which, 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 which one is it? Which one is it? Okay, that versus, yeah, that, that, that versus was absolutely the last straw. Okay, <laughs> they're gonna fist fight on stage. I'm gonna go ahead and RSVP. No, <laughs> I think that that versus was the last straw. Okay, mm -mm -mm -mm. all right, let's get into the next story. This story is actually gonna wrap this stream up. I'm going to have to cover T.D. Jakes tomorrow. We're going to get into our Black History moment tomorrow. I would say later tonight, but honestly, I'm be too tired after I come from that movie. Jordan Peele's movie is two hours and 11 minutes long, okay? So um, let's get into this last story, but this is a story that you definitely need to stay in tune for. This is an unfortunate situation that happened to a Black man who was beaten by police and it's not getting any mainstream media coverage at all. I'm not sure why the, well, actually we are sure, right? Why the mainstream media trips over stories where, atro you know, atrocities happen to us black people time and time again. Again? Again. So let's get into this next story. I definitely hope that you're able to at least tweet out the hashtag, talk about this online, find something with regards to this online to keep this story going strong because that is what this young man, his family, and his friends are asking for, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into this story here about this gentleman, all right? This gentleman, and this story was just so heartbroken. On July 16th, right, Oakland, Tennessee, um, a woman witnessed three officers attack a man by the name of Brandon Calloway. They forced entered his home and struck him several times in the head with a baton stick. They tased him, 
right? And stepped on his neck while he gasped for air. The whole thing was recorded, but when officers saw that it was being captured on film, especially the part where they were stepping on his neck, the officers snatched the phone, they threw it across the room, and they broke it. And all of this happened over a false accusation of him failing to stop at the stop sign. By the grace of God, Brandon is okay. The woman recording this situation was traumatized, but it's not about her. She said, let's get hashtag justice for Brandon Calloway. Okay. So this situation is really, really disheartening. Brandon Calloway is a 25 year old college graduate. He is also a member of um, Alpha Phi Alpha. He was actually delivering food. He's working for DoorDash when he was brutally assaulted during an alleged, you know, traffic stop by Oakland um, police officers. You know, he feared for his life. He drove half a mile home and he ran in the house. They broke down the door. Um, again, this ended with him being bloody, gory. The images were gut rich and the video is even worse. Okay. And, you know, young black men driving for DoorDash. DoorDash still hasn't responded or made any statements with regards to this. But young black men driving for DoorDash, like Jalen Walker, uh, before he was murdered by police with 90 bullets and confronted for alleged traffic violations, they shouldn't be murdered or nearly beaten to death by police. And especially when they managed to arrest armed white mass murderers without as much as putting a scratch on them. I want to show you a video. I do want to give you a trigger warning about this video because it is graphic. Okay. I came across this uh, a couple of days ago and um, it's, it's, it's pretty heartbreaking. Okay. But we're going to go ahead and watch it. Trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger warning. What you're about to see is legitimate police brutality. Okay. So let's get into this. All right. Report says the second video begins as this video shows officers charge into the family home of Callaway. Their report says they had to kick in a door to get to him. You see them chase Callaway into an upstairs room where Callaway's attorney said he hid behind a couch and officers began tasing him. The affidavit from police said the taser had, quote, no effect on Callaway, so they used a baton instead, and the fight moves downstairs. He has no weapon. Why are you chasing him? He's beating him and chasing him. He has no weapon, sir. There's no weapon. They're being aggressive. The video then shows what appears to be a sheriff's deputy walk in. No, you will not. Don't put, don't put your hands on me. Do not put your hands on me. Man. The affidavit picks up saying that the taser and batons both did not work and, quote, Callaway continued to resist arrest, but once in a bedroom. On the ground, this happens according to Callaway's attorney. Mm. Putting his foot on the head area in the neck of Brandon Callaway. All right, so that's that. There's another video where you can literally see Brandon's head being um being laid on the ground. And um, they just had no disregard. They took him outside. He was, he, you know, barely could hold up his neck. He was barely conscious. And they, um, they, they just let his neck fall down on the ground. He's literally scared for his life, as he should be. As he should be. Okay. Oh, not no copyrighted music. Um, so, yeah, that, that, it, it was really heartbreaking when I heard about this uh, a few days ago. But I wanted to bring awareness to Brandon's story. This is what he, his family, his friends, and his loved ones are asking. Okay. As a matter of fact, I can pull up. I want to pull up that clip for you all really quickly. Give me one second to pull up this woman's Instagram. Okay. And thank you all so much for, because I, I know that this week is so tired he is so tired of stories and situations like this. And sometimes I do feel desensitized to police brutality. Sometimes I feel um, desensitized from even, uh, you know, mass shootings and things like that. Um, and sometimes I really find myself where I just have to keep scrolling. I have to, I have to, I can't, I can't consume and, and, and digest 
all of that. Um, but this was one of the ones where quite a few people had sent me the story and tagged me in it. Uh, so I did look into it. Let's see. This one is so gut wrenching. Look at this. Oh my God. You can see he's scared to death. You can see it. Look how they sit his head. Look. It's just crazy. All right, we're done looking at this, okay? Definitely got to mind our mental peace to some capacity. <sighs> Disgusting. Disgusting. Um, but look, I, I, I try to give a balance. Like I said, when I do the Black News Bus, we're going to talk about the celebrity world, stuff that's going on in the real world. We're going to laugh, we're going to joke, but every now and then we have to get into stuff that's serious. But I try to keep a nice balance. I can't be doing... Um, you know, stuff that's heavy all day, every day, because I have to mind my own mental peace, to be completely honest with you. And I realized after I covered the Uvalde shooting, I needed to keep track of, okay, if you do one or two sad stories, you're going to have to do something that's more funny and uplifting, and keep my own spirit and keep my own sanity and mental health intact. Okay. So I try to do my best to do due diligence to give a good balance over here so that every time you come over here, you ain't leaving feeling sad or you know, maybe triggered or, or just, you know, heartbroken by the news um, that we see or that I'm presenting to you all. OK, so this is this is the story of hashtag Brandon Calloway. Be sure to explore that hashtag on social media, especially on Twitter and also the hashtag justice for Brandon Calloway. You can see his name is spelled in the title of this video, but also it's in the description box as well. OK. I really wanted to give y'all a sticky note this evening, but I gotta go. 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 Um, I will uh, give you all a sticky note in the next video or sometime this weekend. But look, don't hesitate to check the community tab because there are some sticky notes over there and sticky notes that I haven't even presented in any videos yet. So feel free to check out the community tab for funny stuff, serious stuff, sticky notes, but make sure you like those community tab posts and you engage with the community tab as well. Okay. It's time for me to kick y'all off my bus. Don't be leaving nothing on my bus. Okay. And the black history moment. I'm going to give y'all the black history moment sometime this weekend. So we'll have a couple of really good shows this weekend between Saturday and Sunday as well. And I look forward to those. I really need to make sure I get out the terms of R. Kelly's probation this weekend as well. So there's a lot of stuff that I'm working on. Some members only content. We've got struggles of a content creator as a series that we're starting backstage for members only. We've got backstage a story that I need to put out about... Um, George Foreman's daughter. I need to get all of those things out. So there are a lot of really good things in the work for this channel, the members only of this channel, but also the backup channel as well as we grow that thing over there. So there are a lot of good things in the works. Y'all know I got my mojo back after YouTube snatched my channel with 102,000 subscribers. That's okay, child. They ain't gonna stop me. But look, what are your final thoughts and your unanswered questions as it pertains to all of the stories and all of the neighborhoods that we drove through today? We got to talking about a little bit of Ray J, a little bit of Princess. We got to talking about Floyd Mayweather. We got to talking about the pink sauce and the dad kissing his 10-year-old daughter. I'm curious and I'm anxious to know all of your thoughts on all the stories that we discussed on the bus today. Someone said, checks for shades. You better check for them shades because, baby, when I tell you I'm going to keep them sunglasses, if you leave them on my bus, I mean it, okay? Don't you forget it. <laughs> thank you so much tammy for sending the ten dollar cash app i really do appreciate that it means so much thank you for all of the new channel members that joined thank you for all of the super chats that came in and all of the super potential super thanks that could come in in the comments after the video ends okay um be sure to tag me in all your favorite trending topics on instagram and on twitter you'll have more luck reaching me and at me on twitter than instagram thank you for watching thanks for checking the community tab subscribe to the backup channel third link down below tpj network if you haven't already don't forget to do something for you and do something to relax today um and we'll be talking about jordan peele's movie backstage later on tonight or well tomorrow and don't forget to subscribe okay thumbs up or down either way i appreciate it but make sure y'all subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of this breaking black news and commentary okay y'all drop some pancake emojis down below and make sure to stay beautiful black and blessed until the next video
Deuces. <laughs> but that's it. If you want to catch more of my commentary on black culture or vital and trending information, be sure to subscribe by hitting that little circle in the middle of the screen. Or I'll catch you in one of these rectangles to the right in another video. I'll see you there.